Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Welcome back, everyone, to today's driving lesson with Aussie Man Reviews. We are going to be critically analysing the driving that you see before you on this video. Whether you're a learner in your teen years, you're logging hours in your logbook, or you're an experienced driver that just wants a refresher on how to drive good, then uh, this is the video for you. As you, can, well, as you can see, this person has made a bit of a fuck up by going up this hill. Probably not the smartest idea to begin with, and they realised it was a dead end or something. I don't know. I don't have all the specifics. Couldn't tell you what street this is. Might be an unnamed street. Those are generally pretty dodgy. But they need to turn around, and they're going about it quiet, carefully, which I do recommend. If you find yourself in an epic fuck-up like this... You can't rush your way out of it, because if you try to rush, you'll end up in a loop. You'll end up in a continuous cycle of panicking, fucking up, panicking, fucking up, repeat, repeat, repeat. And that's not what you want. Now, you're just inching bit by bit, back a bit, not too far, because you don't want to scrape the bottom of the car here. Then you'll end up stuck for eternity. And then just a little turn to the right, patience, put it back in reverse, spin the wheel. Look, Yep, look at your mirrors, because you might hit something, I don't know what's going to be behind you really, probably not any traffic in thin air right there, I don't think he's he's at danger of hitting another car, but it is a good habit to look at your mirrors kids, your side mirror, your rear view mirror, wherever you are, whether you're stuck on a mountain in the middle of butt fuck nowhere, or you're in heavy traffic on the freeway, great habit, look at your mirrors, check your mirrors, and um, those wheels there, those tyres are screaming, they are fed up with this bloke being in control of them, look at him, look at that front one, it's like, get fucked, I never wanted to be in this position, I'm sick of adventuring with you, do I look like an adventure vehicle and tyre, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a city wheel, and I don't want to be here, that's, yeah, I'm translating what the wheel is thinking and saying, which you didn't know I could do, you've heard me do that with wildlife a lot, but I can do cars as well, I have a really Really strong telepathic connection with cars. I know their language. No, I do. Yeah, no, I do. Many Australians do. Okay, he's almost out of this position, which is kind of impressive. As as you can tell, I'm not impressed with how he got into this position in the first place, but I suppose it is important to not fucking judge people on the internet. You know, we can be judgy, judgy, judge, judge, judgmental all day long, and it doesn't get us anywhere as a species. So however he got here, I forgive him. Um, maybe it was a sincere, honest mistake. There's a five-star restaurant at the top of this hill, bloody a Gordon Ramsay fucking restaurant or something, and he was like, I gotta go check it out. But, um, yep, however he got here, no worries. Maybe his grandma lives at the top of this hill. We just... Don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, grandparents do have pretty exotic driveways. Like, I remember my parents firing up whenever we visit our grandparents. They were like, how do you get in and out of this fucking driveway? So that's probably it. Anyway... Three minutes into this, and I reckon he probably just could have reversed all the way. That might have been easier. But yeah, no, yeah, good effort, and uh, all he needs to do now is make amends with his wheels and tyres, especially that front left one. They need to learn to love each other again. Cheers.